want to introduce you to my new favorite dessert. Like the holy grail of desserts here in Romania. Any place? Oh, mm. Everything is rectangular shaped here at this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hyping it up. <laughs> Morning. Good morning, boss. How you doing? Good, welcome back to Romania everybody. We're currently in Transylvania and last night we rocked up at our hotel at night. And we've only just woken up to properly see it. We're staying at a boyard and those were people that were only second below a prince. So they had a lot of money and so they were able to afford amazing houses and they've converted it into a guest house. It is amazing, but we're currently having breakfast and I actually wanted to show you guys what a typical breakfast looks like here in Romania. So about halfway through our trip here in Romania and what we've noticed for breakfast is it's a lot of savory options. So you're not going to find pastries and sweets. There's always fresh bread, as you can see by our little platter here. Romania also loves their cheeses. So you're going to find two or three different types of cheeses. They seem to have some avocado because I think they have a farm just next here. Got some capsicum, tomatoes, fresh bread, coffee, of course. But it's been nice. I feel like we've been having really healthy breakfast every single day. Also, it's not a video here in Romania without some cute animal. Hello, what's your name? Oh my gosh, you're so soft. <laughs> in every video, we seem to find all the animals. Oh, oh. This is now my life now. <laughs> I will just eat breakfast from the floor. Oh my gosh, it's purring so much. Hey! <laughs> um, can I have my coffee, please? <laughs> Just like the flowers to the springtime, I'll come back to you. Just like the colors to the daylight, I'll come back to you. So we're currently driving through the mountains and passing so many little mining villages. And we've come to one called Rochia Montana, which means Red Mountain. And this mining town has been in use for the last 2,000 years. So it was actually settled by the Romans and we're about to go and explore a gold mine that was built by the Romans 2,000 years ago. When the Romans discovered this, it was so wealthy. And to put this into perspective, they made so much money from this mine site that for one full calendar year, they said that no one needs to pay tax in the entire Roman Empire, which is just wow. About to go inside a 2,000 year old Roman mine. It feels so cold already. We're about to go 100 meters down. You wow. ready? Oh, I hate doing this stuff, but when's the chance that you ever get to go in a Roman mine? So we're now 100 meters under the ground and we're currently following a 200 meter long tunnel. This is like Indiana Jones vibes, right? <laughs> so I think it's like my, oh yeah, I do. I kind of look like a nasty Indiana Jones. <laughs> See all the yellow? So there's over 500 million tons of wealth here and over the 2,000 years they only mined half of that so you can really see where Rome got their entire wealth from and it's kind of special being here. So all day we've been driving through the mountains of Transylvania and we just arrived at our spot where we're going to be staying tonight. This is an authentic Transylvanian village They've literally gone and bought 200 year old houses, renovated them and moved them here into the middle of the wilderness. And wow, I've had the biggest smile on my face ever since we arrived here. You need to see our little house. So tonight we're going to be staying in the rooftop of a 200 year old Transylvanian house. I cannot wait to see what it looks like inside. Oh, even the door is cool, Steve. Look at this, we have, because we're in the top floor, we have a bit of a, a bridge to our room. Wow, this is so cool. So it's the top of the house. So this is probably where they'd store their hay. Downstairs are two different rooms. Are you ready? But we have something special. This is so cool. Look at this place. Come in, Steve. <laughs> it's completely made of wood. Oh, even the bed. Look at it's this so place. Like, I guess authentic. Yeah, look at the, it's almost like a sheep's rug that is where we're going to sleep on. 
Wow, they got little lamps here. This is the type of place that you could just hide away for the summer inside your own cabin. My dad's a woodwork teacher and dad, I feel like you would just appreciate how they've intricately designed this. I mean, even, look at this. Steve, you need to see the bathtub. The bathtub? Yeah, go look. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a second story. Oh, <gasps> what? Like a barrel. Look at this. Wow. This is the bathroom and the centerpiece has to be this barrel. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Oh, hey, Bobs. Hello. Wow. Like so a whole other bedroom up here. Yeah? Yeah. Looks like, like the honeymoon retreat up here because it's like really dark and it just has a bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is like right in the top of the roof because it's like an A-frame. Oh. How cool is it? I don't know which one to pick, actually. <laughs> yeah, with your family. I feel like the kids would want this room yeah, just here. Yeah, stay upstairs. So cool. Cannot wait to explore more of the property. Yeah. <laughs> this is just, I mean, we've stayed at some cool places here in Romania, but this one is obviously going to top the entire list. Don't know where we're going, but I'll go anywhere with you. Wherever this <laughs> is Just got given some welcome drinks. This is so nice of them. A little raspberry pressed with some mint. I didn't expect this as well because we're coming to the middle of nowhere and then you get here and they've got like a full bar. It's like a little retreat. <laughs> it's not an accommodation here in Romania without a little kitty or a puppy. I feel like there's more cats Hi. than when we were in Turkey. <laughs> so we've just seen a sign of some things to do around here. I have the Raven's viewpoint. Oh, I think they might have a spa, Stars Theatre. Oh wow, we need to go exploring. Somebody's joining us <laughs> for the hike. I think we found the Eye of the Raven's Nest, which just sounds like something straight out of Game of Thrones. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the best lookout ever. Whoa. <gasps> <laughs> straight out of a movie. Look at that view. Oh, I, I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the camera. Look at the view. Whoa. Oh my. Welcome to the countryside of Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> They've set up some bean bags, some chairs. It's time to chill and watch the sunset. I think, oh, I've got a better idea to watch the sunset, but let's just enjoy this for the moment. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. A spa inside a barrel. Wow. This. this is the highlight, guys. No one around. They have a hot tub with that insane view. <laughs> <laughs> what even is this? Wow. Wow, guys, this is seriously bucket list moment right here. They've done such an amazing job with this hotel. It's like the old traditional meets like modern features. Seriously, just look at what we are currently looking at from this spa. This is, I, I'm shocked. I'm like lost for words. <laughs> they even have a sauna. Ready for the steam? Ready for the steam. I think we're gonna go in the sauna, go in the spa, go in the sauna, and then by then I think it's dinner time. Got so many words to say, no one do us any good. I'm caught between what I wanna say, what I really should. We had the most relaxing time watching the sunset this place i can't get over it but we're going to dinner and we found out here because we are so like in the middle of nowhere and i think they can only fit around 20 guests in total that dinner here is basically whatever they're cooking for the night so the I chef feel, special yeah the spe chef special so i feel like we're gonna have quite an authentic meal tonight and they've named it so epically we're having dinner inside the dragon's tavern <laughs> 
Okay, we've gone for some cocktails, seeing as they have a full bar here in the middle of the mountains. They have a bar, ordered us. a Hugo, and a Breezer. So let's see what's the best. I've never heard of a Hugo drink. Ooh, minty? Like a, like a limey minty. Oh, that's yum. That's yum? It's like a peachy cranberry. Oh, these are like gigantic <laughs> goblets as well. <laughs> 15 for the dragons to happen. Mm. Oh, yeah, cheers. So, first up was like salty cheese with mm. onion. It's like a pie. Is this what the pies look like normally in Romania? Yeah. Looks yummy. Yeah. It smells so good. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. Yeah? Yeah. What does it remind you of? Like a cheesy yeah, pie. That's good. Well, do you like Bloody Marys? <laughs> <laughs> so the next dish that they've given us is basically polenta, cheese and sour cream, and then an egg on top. And it's called Bulls, Shut Up and Eat. <laughs> so, so shut, shut up, up and, and eat. eat. This is massive, by it the way. It is so big. I don't even know if I'm going to eat it all. And there's pickles do as I, well. Wait, do I grab some of this and some of the egg? How yeah, do I eat you, it? You, you mix it all together. Oh, you mix it all together. Yeah. And then do you need to grab like a pickle with that? Yeah. You're not meant to be talking. Oh, you to. You're meant to be shut up and eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a yeah. bit of pickle? Uh, eat that yeah, but first after. And then, eat like yeah. this and then the pickle. Uh, like feel the taste of it now and then mm. add some. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a pie. Kind of tastes like a pie. Just yeah. without any crust. Yeah, I mean. Oh, mm. everything is rectangular shaped here at this um, <laughs> <laughs> at this place. So we've just worked out that they have an outdoor cinema. So we're currently sitting in the wilderness and we're about to watch one of our vlogs because I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Press play. How cool is this? I feel like if you come to the High Tatras Mountain, this is the buckle of the, <laughs> the They have a hammock so you can watch the outdoor movie or the vlog on a hammock. Also, this is so cool. Oh, making this life with this life. All the girls wearing all the guys' jackets. We live in that Friday. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the heart of Transylvania. We found a little hidden getaway. It's called the Lovebirds Hideaway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I mean, every viewpoint here at this Raven's Nest little accommodation is amazing. But we're just starting our morning, looking out over the incredible landscape in front of us. Gotta take it in before we go. Yeah. It was my favorite activity. Wait, right. stop! There's poo, 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 poo! Oh. Poo, poo, poo. And then run. Oh my. Who even are our tour guides? <laughs> we were just driving down the road and we noticed this waterfall and there's actually a pipe running from the waterfall across the river to this well serving water for people that are driving past. You can also see there's a religious factor to it, so I'm sure a lot of people driving you know, long distances, they'd come here, have a drink of the water, good luck, well wishes. And I just love how the pipe, it's all wooden, just straight from the waterfall, all the way out. Another day, another mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so salty. What it's the? Salt. <laughs> did you do it, Steve? Yeah, I just did it before. Salty. Oh, the soup's salty. The way that it's just. I've never seen a cave look like this. It looks like marble almost. Oh, look how old the staircase looks. 200 years old, covered in salt. Wow. Look at it. Look at the roof. Salt. Whoa! That's crazy. So we stopped in a town called Turda, and this place is famous for its salt mine. I did not realize what a salt mine looked like, and we've just come inside, and it is the biggest mine I've ever seen. We're currently underground, basically surrounded by salt, and they have a Ferris wheel inside <laughs> this mine. Wow. Have you I'm... ever seen anything like this before? 
Oh. No, they've done a really good job. Just the way that they've done the lighting in here is humongous. You can really feel the scale of it. It's an amusement park inside a salt mine. <laughs> <laughs> Almost feels like we're underground in a bunker and they've created this dystopian world because atomic bombs have gone off above us and then they've tried to make it a wellness center with the ping pong and the ferris wheel. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a movie set. I was the moth, you were the flame. You lit the fuse, I took the blame. But I know better now. What even is this place? It's one of the most unique structures I think we've ever been in lower and lower as we go down. Alrighty everybody, welcome to Romanian Disney World in a salt mine on meters and meters below the ground. Monday. <laughs> so inside this salt mine they also have a, a lake. This is so green. <laughs> like what is this? We're now a hundred meters below the ground on just... a lake. I, I don't even know how to describe this place. <laughs> This All right, take us under. How I expected this day to go. <laughs> I feel like this is in like the top 10 of most unique things we have ever done. Guys, it is now the evening. We've driven across Transylvania to a town called Sibiu, and this is the first real town we've come across on this entire trip. We've been seeing so much of the untouched nature of Romania, and it's just a medieval town. Really cool. Now it definitely feels like we're back in Europe when you see your oranges and your reds and the tile roofs, churches and towers. One thing I've noticed for the 10 odd minutes we've been in the city is that their second story of their houses have these little windows and they kind of look like shady eyes. I kind of feel like I'm being watched. Look, over there. How weird does it feel being in like a big city again? I know. <laughs> That just shows, I mean, what are we, day eight of our trip? Yeah. And this is our first town, that's pretty cool. When you've been a good boy and you want all the pets, but you're kind of a little bit too high. So we've come up to the big square here in Cebu and we've come out for dinner and I've ordered bean soup. This is probably one of my favorite dishes that I've been having here in Romania. And it is, um, this one's been served in a gigantic bread roll. I've never seen a bread roll like this before. And if you're coming to Romania, you need to order a bean soup. It is amazing. But I want to show you guys how you eat it. Because there is a certain way to eat this soup here in Romania. So first of all, this looks so good. I need to commentate on this roll, by the way. We've had soups in rolls before, but this like is a just... Romania just the best soup ever. Oh yeah. I wanted to show you guys because the soup here, the bean soup, it's always served with red onion. And so what you actually do is you get a bit of salt. Where should I put it? Usually I have like a little plate. I'll put the salt here. So you always put some salt in. Because they always like to like complement their foods here. That's what we've noticed with yeah. the dishes. So there's like certain ways to eat it. So you eat your soup and then every now and then what you do is you get a bit of onion and I always dip it in to get it wet, put it in the salt and then you eat it and I don't know, it just goes really well with the soup here. And it's like the tangy and then you have the soup. Yeah. So the soup's like more of like a sour. It's really, really good. And then what I've ordered is some mushrooms stuffed with cheese. Romania loves cheese. And we actually haven't tried this dish yet. So this dish is served as an appetizer and it's five mushrooms stuffed with cheese. I mean, you can never go wrong with anything stuffed with cheese. That is so good. This is day eight of our trip. We've had so many different cheeses and they were so flavorful. I'm excited just thinking about it. I want to introduce you to my new favorite dessert. Like the holy grail of desserts here in Romania. Any place I've ever tried dessert, this has now become number one. 
I've had it every single day since we've been here, and we've been here for eight days now. She's so... bumping. I'm in shock because okay, I do so love this. When we went to Lake Bled, we had the Lake Bled cake. And that was the best cake ever until Papa Nosh came into my life. Okay, I need a. We're separate people. <laughs> Papa Nosh is for me number three. It's still very good. Number one is the late leg cake. Number two is our wedding cake, and this is number three. Mm -mm, number She's one. bumped it straight. Wait, to the top. now I need to show them what it is now. So we actually have had it earlier in the videos when I first tried it, but I've tried it in every single restaurant, and I want to rate this one. This is Papa Nosh number six. So this <laughs> no, is in first reactions. Seven. Oh, is it? I think so. Okay, so it's basically like, I'm really hyping it up. It's basically like a donut, and then there's always like a jam, and this kind of sour cream. Yeah, I would say so. So this donut actually has like a cheese lining inside, inside of it. Inside it. I think that's what makes it so good. But like I said, we told you Romanians like their cheese. <laughs> Everyone's going to think I'm crazy. And yes, I'm going on a diet after Romania. I've eaten way too much proper nuts. It's my, it's the word I know. Is everyone's like, what word do you know in Romanian? Papanash. This is, it's really good. Like okay, for, for me, me to make it number three out of every dessert we've ever had. Okay, let's see. Your eyes are glistening <laughs> from looking at that papanash. On the goo bomb. <laughs> Where does it rank out at number seven? This could be up. This could be number one. Oh really? Because it's crispy on the outside. It's still warm. It's got like a good ratio of the sour cream and the jam. This is all you need to order. This, this is can't become the puff and off block. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket tacky.